One of the things that many people are missing during this time when churches aren't able to gather is the opportunity to celebrate the sacraments together, particularly to come and to enjoy gathering around the Lord's table as a family and receiving the tokens of bread and wine that we would normally take week by week and that feed us in our walk with the Lord. Now, it might be that you come from a denomination or a tradition where you need to have an authorised priest in order to celebrate a communion. But we just wanted to talk a little bit about how you could have a simple agape home communion, perhaps as a gathering in your household. The thing that I would want to suggest is that you begin very simply with rest. Rest in the presence of God. Be still and know that he is Lord. Then repent. Think about things that you've done wrong. Remind yourself that the bread and the wine that you're about to take are tokens of Jesus's body that was broken and his blood that was shed. And that was done so that our sins might be forgiven. And then refocus. We, in repenting, turn away from something, but we turn back to the Lord. You might think about what you've been falsely trusting in or turning to. And in the communion, as you rest, as you repent, and as you refocus, you're able again to say, God, you are my source. It's by this bread that I live, not by anything else I might turn to in life. And then, of course, the scripture gives us the words of institution from Jesus. You could turn to Luke 24 and you could read how the disciples on the day of resurrection met with Jesus as he walked with them on the road to Emmaus. And as they persuaded him to stay and to be at table with them, they recognised him in the breaking of bread. And of course, also, we could read the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23, where Paul talks about what he received from the Lord and passed on to the church. So read those words and then having said some prayer of recognition over the bread and the wine, just simply receive and respond. Take the bread and think about what it means that Jesus's body was broken for you. And then share the wine or the juice. And think about how his blood was shed for you. And then just take some time to worship. In many traditions, we call it communion because that's what it is. It's an opportunity to meet with God, to be reminded of what Jesus did for you, to be drawn back to the centre of it.